This section of the video shows how to connect an OP900 A or B to our OP910. This is 910 3 for 3 inch, but the settings will be the same for 910 5 inch or 910 7 inch. If it's 910X, it'll be different settings and that'll be later in the video, but right now you see I have 0, 0.0 here. Nothing showing up on the scoreboard, so hold down the hold and print settings. And we're gonna go left, make that to one, go right, and I could just press tear to go down. Go to C18. And right now it's set to C18 of one. So C18 one is for our scoreboard. So that's correct at least. But the next thing you have to check is actual uh, baud rate. So C19. Set that, we're now set to 19.3, which is default. Go all the way down to C19.0. So, make sure the cable R32 to the 5 pin connector is set up, C19.0. And press the acuum. So now it's 0, 0.0, and you see it lit up. So now if I add weight on it, you will see if I let go hold. See it went up. Right, 99.99.9 to show up. So that's how you connect our OP900 to a 910 scoreboard. So this part of the video is for an OP901. It could be a B or A. And this is how you connect to a scoreboard. So in this case, it's our 910 3 inch, but it could be 910 3, 5, 7. The settings will be the same. The only difference will be a 910X, which will be later. So what you're going to do is hold down the on, off, and set button. Two seconds. Move left by pressing hold, right press zero to go up, right so make that one, make that to eight. So we're going to C18. So right now C18 is set to two, so that's for a printer. So we want a continuous display for like a remote display, so we'll make that to one. Here's in the manual C9, C18 to four will be for computer, so C18 one right now. And then the baud rate for all our 910s are set to 1200. So, you set that to zero, and to get out, and just make sure that your RS-232 to 5-pin connector is connected. Tap on the on-off button, and you'll see zero pop up, and you'll see when the weight goes up, scoreboard goes up. Go back down. That's how you connect the 901 to our 910 scoreboard. So, bad news for the 902, where no matter what I try, no matter what settings, the string output will not work on our 910 scoreboard, will not work on 910X. So you cannot connect a 902 to a scoreboard. Just so you know, so you not keep crying. You connect to a PC, you could connect to a printer through the RST32, but you're not able to connect to a scoreboard. So, going on to the next section. This part of the video is for an OP903, Tougher 903, Optima 903, to a 910 scoreboard. You notice very quickly that it has an RST32 connection, but it has a three-pin connector. So the cable that will typically come with our um, 910, this is 1910-3, but it could be a 1905 or 1907. This is three-inch. So the settings are the same, but it has a five-pin, which is fine for the scoreboard. But the other end is an RST32, but it has a DB9 connection. Well, this uses a three-pin, so you need to make sure when ordering that you receive and if you're trying to connect the 903 to the scoreboard a you see a three pin to a five pin connector so connect that up right now so that's what i'm doing see me connecting and you'll see me connecting the three pin connection on here okay so still not reading so what you have to change is hold on the switch and print that's the normal menu so going up to F3 so these are an explain the manual but it's for actual number serial number print format right it's not important what I'm looking for is BOD BOD so this 910 you always have to remember it's at 1200 baud rate so always remember that so if you look at the manual a 1200 baud rate is baud of one so see the passive baud one this is specifically for the 910 3 5 or 7 
but not for 910X. 910X might be different, so it'd be a different part of the video. So 910, baud 1, and set DCP to 3. Uh, CP1 would be for a PC. CP2 will be for a Yao Hao model of a, a secondary display, and this is for the CP3 for Toledo model. So this one is what we use for our 910, so you'll see. I'm going to go through. So that's the settings. Back to F3. If you are stuck in one of these menus, you could just press check and get out. And there you go. So now I'm able to display what's on here on my scoreboard. And if I change the weight, it will also change as well. All right, so this section is just to show you the wiring. So specifically for the 903. So if you're connected to the 910, you remember you need a three pin connector. So you see five pin to DB9. And there's a reason why I'm showing you this. The, none of these work except for three and five. So what I mean by that is if I put it on inside pin three, and you'll see it's labeled. Pin three is receive. Or sorry, transmit, I mean. So that's pin two on a DB9 connector. And if I go to pin 5, you'll see it's the ground cable. So you're working with pin 3 for transmit, pin 5 for ground on DB9 connector. So what you're going to be doing is actually cutting off and resoldering instead of this D this connection here, the D 9 pin connector, you're going to connect a 3 pin connector to it. So this is important because, and this is what the cable here that was created. If you don't have a cable, you can make these, right, 5 pin, this is a 3 pin for 903. You'll see it'll make the same continuity test. Pin 1 is your transmit. So whatever color was on pin 3, make sure you solder that to pin 1 of the 3 pin. So you see how that is on there. Pin 2 is not connected and then pin 5, or at least pin 2 is not used. Pin 5 will be your ground. And that's pin 3 on this end. So this is the cabling. You're going to make one. You're going to be cutting off the DB9 connection and putting on 3 pin. And that's the wiring. Pin 1 is transmit. Pin 3 is ground. Which is, of course, pin 1 is corresponding to pin 3 here. And then pin 3 on 3 pin is connected to pin 5 on the 5 pin. This is for your 910. Your 3 inch, 5 inch, 7 inch. So 910, 3, 3, 3 5, or 7. Okay, so this section of the video is for the OP900 to our 910X display. You know it's 910X because it has a bigger screen, but it's more brighter outdoors, so it's red and green. And you'll see what I mean in a little bit. So hold down the hold and print button, and make sure your RS32 to your scoreboard cable is connected. So you're going to go to C18. So in my case, continue sending for remote display. It's always C18.1. That's good. And C19. So this is for 1200 baud rate. So 910X should be using 910 or uh, 9600, which is 9, C19 3. And you'll see when I get out. You see it matching. And the soonest feature is you see it turns green when the white's the weight stable. So if I increase the weight, see 103.9, and while it's still fluctuating, it will turn red. But now the lights turn green. So if I shift the camera, you can see more of the weight. Right, if I went down, right, weight stabilizes. That's how you know you have a 910X display. So this section is for an OP901. This could be a B or an A. To our 910X display, it could be 910X XL as well. But one want to change the difference. You'll see the signature feature because the light turns red to green. So set it up on 901. You hold on on, off, and set. Move left by pressing hold. Zero increments it. Units goes back right. And then tear. You see the arrows, that's what they stand for. So C18, we're gonna set it to continuous mode for remote display at C18 1. Press the zero button, right, make a one. And C19, we're gonna set C19 to 3 for 9600 baud rate. That's for the 910X. Right, set, tap on the on off button, and there you go. So you set zero. And it won't turn green if it's zero, but if I increase the weight. So 35, 63, and if you look closer, 35, 63 pounds, flash is green. So I already mentioned in the previous part how a 902 will not work on the 910, and also will not work on the 910X. So I just kind of wanted to show it, just so if you skip through the video, you'll be able to know. Will not work, but let's take this out. 
And we'll go to the next section. You notice on the cable that comes with the 910X, it has like this four pin connector with DB9, which is fine for this connector to the scoreboard. But this, we don't have a 903. This does have an RSC32, but it has a three pin connector. So you have to make sure you get a three pin to that four pin connector for the 910X. And you just need to make sure it is the correct four pin. Because, yeah, just make sure with that. And what you have to set and hold on the switch and print. Go up to F3. And we're just going to cycle through these. We're looking for BOD. So BOD 4. These run on 9600 baud rate, so make sure it's 9600, so 4. And CP. So I've noticed that it works on CP 1, 2, or 3. Typically we use CP3 for the Toledo model. So set CP3. Right, and there it is. So now you can see 170. Right now it's kg, it says pounds. So you will see an interesting problem where the weight correct, but it says kg here, but it says pounds here. I was able to get it to show the, the pounds correctly. So what I've noticed, and I'm not sure there's a problem with these. Sometimes I have to go to CP, make it zero, right? Dis disable it, and then go back to F3, go back to CP, and make it to one for a continuous setting for a PC. And now it's showing properly 340 pounds. But if I go to, let's say the Toledo model, CP of three, it still shows the kgs even though I'm in pounds. And let's say I try to go back from here back to one. See now it works fine. But previously it was not able, it was still showing kgs. So sometimes you might have to disable the port and then re disable it or enable it. But CP of one and then make sure the baud rate is four for 9600. That's how you connect the 903 to a 910X. Okay, so this section is making a cable for the 903 for a 910X display. So you can see it's this big connector, or it could be a smaller connector if you have an older version. But the more importantly is you test continuity. You'll see on pin 2, and that corresponds to pin 3, which is typically you receive on this end, and your transmit. Pin 2 is pin 3 on this end. And then your pin 4 up here is your ground, which is pin 5 here. So when you're making your DB9 connection, not DB9, but the R32 3 pin, how it was done here is pin 1 is your transmit, pin 2 is receive, pin 3 is your ground. So that will correspond with pin 3 is either one or two and then two is one or two and then pin four here will be the uh, ground here so this is the cable for t910x scoreboard i hooked up my three pin already so i'll show you the continuity on this one so pin one doesn't have anything you'll notice there's no continuity uh pin two right that's the receive on pin 2, on pin 2, pin 3, and this is the big connector, remember, that's a pin 3 is a transmit, or I should say it's receiving here, transmitting here, so pin 4 is your ground, pin 3 here. So if you're going to make your own cable for the 910X, that's the wiring diagram. So. It is transmitting a signal from pin 1 to pin 3 here. It's receiving a signal from pin 2, which is transmitting from pin 2 here. And the ground is always the ground. Pin 4. That's how you get your cable for 3 pin to 19x.